<clears throat> Good morning and happy early Valentine's Day to all of you. We are going to read The Valensteins and A Crankenstein Valentine, which is one of my favorite Valentine's stories. He, uh, he gets a little mad about Valentine's Day. And I don't blame him. Um, once again, oh, there's a crazy light above my head. I have a, a light halo. Woo. Um, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Miss Chelsea. And I can't wait to see all of you in person someday. Because I've been doing this this way for almost a year. But first, before we read our stories... And I have two little songs for you. Uh, and I realized I forgot this the other day. Ready? Everybody count. One. One. Story time has just begun. Everybody count. Two. Two. Shake your shoulders. Sew your shoes. Hmm. Still no shoes for me. Everybody count. Three. Three. Listen very carefully. Everybody count. Four. Four. Put your bottoms on the floor or couch, chairs, beds, pillow forts, blanket forts, and it's super cold, so it would be a good day for a pillow fort and a blanket fort <clears throat> or wherever you're listening from today. All right, I'm going to move this just a wee bit so I kind of get, <sighs> maybe I won't get rid of the halo. I'm just going to have a halo today, I guess. All right, I have read these before. I try to rotate through my Valentine stories, so they were not last year's, but if you've been doing story time with me for a long time, you've probably heard them, but that's okay, because it's okay to read stories more than once. It's also okay to read them like 10 times, but if you've read them 10 times in a row, give your mom or dad a break for bedtime and pick a different story. All right, this is The Valensteins by Ethan Long. We also have the uh, Thanksgiving version of this story. Well, not of this particular story, but a Thanksgiving book featuring these same characters. A love story. Try to tilt again. Ugh. I don't like how this is looking today. There we go. It's a little better. For my stepmoment, mummy, and real daddy. So, you know, authors will often dedicate their work to someone, so. And I do my best to read it in a vampire voice. We're neat. It was a cold, dark night, perfect for scaring, but Fran had something else on his mind. <coughs> of course, Vladimir had to know what Fran was up to. There's Vlad. There's Fran. What are you making, Fran? Um, hmm, pink paper, scissors, glue. Are you making the mask? With thanks. <laughs> that looks scary. It looks a little 
It looks like a little rounded bat to me. Oh, sorry. Wrong voice. I thought Fran was, or uh, Vlad was still here. It looks like a little rounded bat to me. No, it's a big pink nose. It looks like a paper butt. <laughs> Bunny knew what was going on. This is a heart, everyone. When you love someone, you cut one of these out and give it to them on Valentine's Day. Sandy checked the calendar. Do you think, Fran, Goop is in love? Eek! Wait, what's love? It sounds gross. That's when two people feel all mushy-mushy about each other. Ew! Mushy-mushy! And then, when they get more in love, they flutter their eyes at each other. Ooh, flutter like bats? No, probably more like butterflies. Don't drag me into this! But here's the crazy part. When they get really, really in love, they, they, they fly! Find out. Here's his bunny. They kiss on the lips. <gasps> Ew. I'm never falling in love. Love is so yuck. Not just yucky, it is terrifying. Love is making my skin crawl. Um, you don't have any skin. Yeah, she's right. At this point, Fran had heard enough. So, he went outside to get some fresh air. And that's when he was reminded that love isn't about being mushy mushy or fluttering your eyes or kissing someone on the lips. And it certainly isn't about cutting out paper hearts. <laughs> it looks like a paper butt. That's what ghosts said too. It's about something you feel in your real heart. Even if it does feel a little funny sometimes. What are they doing? They're talking and staring at the moon. Weirdos. I don't think.
think it's so weird. So we're gonna do a little song called I'll Make a Valentine. And this is sung to the tune of London Bridge. So London Bridge goes like this. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. So ready? This is called I'll Make a Valentine. I'll make a bright red valentine, valentine, valentine. I'll make a bright red valentine and give it right to you. I'll trim it with lace and bows, lace and bows, lace and bows. I'll trim it with lace and bows and give it right to you. All right, we'll do it again, okay? I'll make a bright red valentine, valentine, valentine. I'll make a bright red valentine and give it right to you. I'll trim it with lace and bows, lace and bows, lace and bows. I'll trim it with lace and bows and give it right to you. So you can make valentines if you want to. Alrighty. But you don't have to. Or you can be like Frankenstein here. Who does not want to make Valentine's or celebrate Valentine's Day. This is written by Samantha Berger and illustrated by Dan Santa. And he grumbles a lot and this story makes me a little bit thirsty. Because it makes my throat hurt when I... <sighs> a lot. But... I really like this one. Hopefully you'll think it's funny too. So we all know the conversation hearts that we get. These ones say, Cooties, <coughs> sourpuss, whatever, look away. Blech. Ugh, it is what it is. Just leave, stay away. Not good. Snarl, scream. Scram, yuck, later gator, I've seen better, puke, p-u, sourpuss, gack, dry heave. So, Frankenstein is not a fan. Alright, a Frankenstein valentine. Alright, this book is really kind of tall. Okay. And tape out. Have you seen my little sweetheart, Crankenstein? You can't miss Crankenstein on Valentine's Day. Here's mom's sleeve full of hearts. You would say, Happy Valentine's Day, my love. Frankenstein would say, Yuck! Look at him. His eyes are bulging out. You would say, Look who got brand new heart! That's pretty embarrassing. Frankenstein would say, say it with me, Yuck! I'd be pretty upset about that too. You would say, don't forget to bring roses for all your teachers. Frankenstein would say, Yeah! And there's this little girl giving him a kiss. Mwah! You 
might see Frankenstein getting a big red smooch on the school bus. Yuck! Or eating a heart-shaped peanut butter and jelly sandwich and heart-shaped apple slices and using a heart-shaped napkin covered in hearts. <laughs> and this kid over here. <laughs> While some of the others are drinking love potion and eating kale chips. Which I also say, <laughs> too. You may even find Frankenstein making his own kind of Frankenstein valentine. <laughs> Roses are red, violets are blue, Valentine's Day stinks. Seriously, P.U. You could certainly find him biting into a chocolate with surprise hairy coconut inside. Yeah. Exacto, your secret admirer. Krangenstein yeah. does not care for that kind of chocolate. Or helping to make the mushy, gushy Valentine's Day garland. Frankenstein does not appreciate helping to make the mushy, gushy Valentine's Day garland. Look at him stomping it apart. And you're guaranteed to find Frankenstein in the Valentine's Day school pageant. Frankenstein never said he wanted to be in the Valentine's Day school pageant. As Cupid, no less, in his brand new heart underwear. He looks like he might not be the only one who's a little upset. Someone else has a grumpy face too. Nope, there's absolutely no way, no doubt, not now, not ever, that Frankenstein wants anything to do with Valentine's Day. Oh, look at that. Except for maybe one thing. Hmm. A best friend. She gave him a cupcake. Who understands? Do not touch! Exactly how you feel. Roses are red, violets are blue. On Valentine's Day, I feel just like you. Ew! No, the cranky green went away. Only 364 days until next Valentine's Day.
And there he has his note. His little heart valentine from his friend. Hmm. The tone changed on these. Hugs. Too hot. Yes. Kiss me. Yay you. Love life. Yes dear. Hold me. Let's hug. Exo. Exo. Sweet talk. Cutie pie. Smile. Call me. Angel. Be true. Hey buddy. Hi, be mine and for you. Hmm. Maybe it's not so bad when you have a friend. All right, now we have a little rhyme. All right, most of we all have these five little things ready. We have five little pumpkins and five little owls and five little all the things. Now we have five little hearts. Wait, get your hands ready. Five little hearts all in a row. The first one said, I love you so. The second one said, will you be my Valentine? The third one said, I will if you'll be mine. The fourth one said, I'll always be your friend. And the fifth one said, we'll all be friends until the end. We'll all be friends until the end. We'll all be friends until the end. Ready? Let's do it one more time. Bounce your fingers. Five little hearts all in a row. The first one said, I love you so. The second one said, will you be my valentine? The third one said, I will if you'll be mine. The fourth one said, I'll always be your friend. The fifth one said, we'll all be friends until the end. We'll all be friends until the end. We'll all be friends until the end. All right. So if you want to, you can comment which book was your favorite in this comment section, but you don't have to. And that is all I have for you today. So you can get your alligator mouth out. Ready? Stretch it super wide. See you later, alligator in a while, crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug, blow a kiss, jellyfish. See you soon, big baboon, out the door, dinosaur. Take care, rawr, polar bear, wave goodbye, butterfly. And, big news, we are closed on Monday for President's Day. But on Tuesday, uh, the 16th of February, we are reopening um, for eight patrons at a time. You do need to wear a mask. If you would like to call ahead and make a reservation, you can, but you do not have to. Um, so, hopefully we will all see you. Uh, we are not doing story time in the library yet. We're still doing that online. Um, but you can come in and browse and check out books. So we all hope to see you again soon. Have a wonderful weekend. Take care.